Every day I like to tell people that I love my job because I get to hang out with all the big stars in Africa. And today is nothing short of that. Last week we had the chance to hang out with Ecstatic Soul. And today we are hanging out with Destruction Boys all the way from Durban, SA. And um, if you don't know who Destruction Boys are, you probably know the song Omunye. And let me tell you this song is big first let's introduce destruction boys welcome this is capital campus yo yo what's going on <laughs> thank <laughs> you so much for availing yourself and i mean it's your first time in kenya so far mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. what, what how do you guys feel about um kenya traffic's bad traffic <laughs> is bad yeah. yeah well how long were you guys in traffic um for a good couple of hours yeah. but it was worth it i mean we're here uh, now so yeah yeah I mean, Omunya is such a big jam, right? Yeah. And do you guys feel a bit intimidated because that's the first song that really, really hit for you guys, especially in other parts of Africa? Uh, not really, no. I mm. mean, we've been forever making good music, you know? Mm. So it didn't come as a surprise to us when <clears throat> the song did as it did, you know? So, yeah. Um, we, we, we work hard, you know? So a lot of things that happen are not surprises, but we actually feel like we're deserving. You know, because we've been in the game for such a long time and we started at a yeah. very young age. Yeah. Um, we're still young even now. <laughs> so yeah, not really, no. We're just really proud of the amount of corners the song was able to reach, you know? Yeah. So yeah. I mean, every time when you go to the club, trust me, Omunya has to be played. Yes. And I would dance. Is, <laughs> wait, is, is the dance um, standard everywhere where people do the guara guara? Is it standard everywhere or is there a different kind of dance in, in uh, SA? Uh, it's procedure, <laughs> man. Guara guara and the Vosho, those yeah. two, man. Okay. You just got to do those, man. I, by the end of this interview, we have to at least learn the Guara one. Guara. At least one, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and um, it's so interesting. I was reading that um, your album, mm -hmm. first, please let me understand. It is, how do you say? It's in Kum. Kum is the future, yes. Okay, so I'm, I might need some help throughout yeah. the interview, so you guys can see. Kum. Yes. Um, is the future was actually certified gold by mm -hmm. Recording Industry South Africa. How is that for you guys? Amazing. I mean, yeah. I mean... I can say like <laughs> we own platinum now. We, uh -huh. We're looking at platinum. Yeah. We are three cells away from hitting platinum. So oh, nice. yeah. it's going to be the first ever Chrome album to go gold, go platinum. I mean, Omonia, the single itself, nice. and triple platinum. You know. Oh, yeah. nice. So it's, it's crazy numbers. It's crazy numbers. Man. Great. And do you guys uh, walk down the streets of Durban and guys are like, oh my god, can we take a selfie? Can we take <laughs> pictures? <laughs> yeah. I mean, <laughs> it's always like that. But uh. we. We grew up in the township, you know, yeah. so we like and we appreciate each and every person that we come across. Nice. So it really isn't a problem for us to take pictures and interact with people because those are the people that started to play our music when no very, one else would. So. Very true. Yeah, like we love our supporters, man. Like Nice. Like crazy yeah. stuff. And I know it's so crazy. Like many people, um, mm -hmm. I've heard like people complain, you know, I, I grew up with this person and now they're big <laughs> and now they don't even talk to us. I mean, how is it important and how do you stay true to yourself? Because, I mean, fame can really change a person, and especially yeah. also when it comes with money, you know, yeah, more, the girls. More money, more problems. More, money, more <laughs> problems, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think what keeps us intact in and um, in touch is, is, is looking back, you know, at our situation, where we come from, and where we actually want to see ourselves go, you know. Yeah. We don't come from very um, 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 good backgrounds. It's just bad, and the crime, everything. Yeah, Guamash, one of the most dangerous townships mm -hmm. in Guamash, yeah. in, in South Africa, sorry. Uh, so I think that in itself taught us to be actually accommodative, loving, mm -hmm. um, and caring for other people because nice. we don't want them to go through what we went through. Right. So do you guys live, still live there? In the, uh, you, it's Kwamashu? Yeah, Kwamashu. Kwamashu, yeah. okay. Yes, do you live there? No, yeah, we moved back into the <laughs> We moved back into the birds, Yeah, you know. can't be there for too long. Too wise, yeah. yeah. If we could have it any other way, we'd still be living in the town. Yeah. But security-wise, we have to. We had to. Yeah. yeah. And for mm -hmm. and for like our work, so yeah. So Sometimes maybe late night studio yeah. sessions. Yeah. yeah. You can't be walking around the township with um, equipment with a uh, hundred thousand dollars, you know, because it's yeah. you know. So you gotta keep it safe. Right. Yeah. And for anyone who doesn't know what. It's mm, well, <laughs> um, <laughs> how music um, is. Yeah. What is it? Uh, because it's a sub general house. Uh -huh. um, it's very hard hitting, heavy bass. Um, it's it's similar to to your electros, your technos, and yeah. stuff like yeah. that, mm. and trance as well. 
but it's very different. It's authentic to South Africa. I mean, nowhere else in the world can you find a sun that we make. So. Yeah, because, I mean, for the longest time, I thought probably it's uh, it's like Queto. Mm -hmm. And then you listen to it, and it's like, okay, you know what? There's something different about the beat, the sound, you know? So uh, how do you feel the genre is picking up in SA? It, 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 it's, it's taking over everything. I mean... Yeah. A lot of other guys that were doing hip hop as well are doing club now. Yeah. You know, they a lot changed. of vocalists as well mm -hmm. are getting in on the sound. Mm -hmm. So the the reception is amazing. Mm -hmm. I mean, um, we been we've been scooping awards with the sound. You know, yeah. as clean as it is. So it's it's it, it's nice, man. It's, it's all God work, you know. Nice. Yeah. And you know, um, it's a bit confusing sometimes when you have artists who are mm -hmm. doing hip hop and then they're changing to, for yeah. example, in this case. Oh. Yes. Kuwaito. Uh, <laughs> uh, mm -hmm. I mean, how important is it to stay true to your sound? You know, because I feel like with the wave, mm -hmm. sometimes you'd want to go with the wave, yeah. right? So. You know, let, me, let me just like um, talk about us, cause you know, mm -hmm. like, we've been doing gom like back then, you know? so they didn't like allow gom music to play on radio station. Oh wow, I didn't know that. And like on television and stuff. So we mm. stayed true to, to like, our sound. Why? Why yeah. though? Um, they said it was rough. Um, it had no future. Um, it was oh. for uneducated people. Um, people who didn't understand music, um, who didn't understand sound. And we never backed down, you know. Um, and a lot of those people that were saying all those things are actually buying our albums yeah. and they're pumping our music as well. So mm -hmm. we don't really hold anything against them. We just knew that our time was going to come and it, it, it really yeah. did, you know. Now yeah. imagine if you had um, broken down from all those comments and stuff, mm -hmm. we wouldn't be where we are right now. You Very wouldn't true. be interviewing us, you know? So maybe it probably be you rapping or something. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah, man, authenticity is very key. You gotta stay true to whatever it is that you feel inside of you. Because like, someone can tell you sh stuff now, and then tomorrow, the things that we're telling you might be, might be wrong, you know? Yeah. So you gotta always stay true, man. If you believe in yourself and your craft as well, um, surely God is going to give you a chance. Very true. Come is the future. Yes. One time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they thought we were kidding, man. We were yeah. joking when we said come is the future. future. <laughs> right, and it's so funny when you're talking about like believing in the crafts and in the process because I feel yeah. like so many young people now don't really understand mm -hmm. how important it is to like stick to what you're doing and yes. the journey, you know? Yeah. So for anyone who's listening to you right now and they're like, okay, you know what? Tomorrow I want to have like a million Instagram <laughs> followers. Yeah. I want to move out of maybe the slums or mm -hmm. townships and move on to the suburbs, what would you tell them? There are no shortcuts. Yeah. There step really are step. no shortcuts. Yeah. 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 Step by step. I mean, if, if, if it is a shortcut, then you're probably dreaming. You know? <laughs> yeah. So you, you got to... It you never got, comes easy. You got to be persistent, man. You got to keep walking on those doors and surely something's going to give. Yeah. And we talked about money, uh, fame. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about the girls, yeah. right? What girls? The, like groupies. I mean, I can you. I'm a girl and you, I have a guy girl, yeah. groupies. So yeah, girl. for for you guys, how do you handle the the girl fans? I mean, it's all about treating everyone equally because once you create that division, which okay, you're a guy, I'm gonna treat you differently from a girlfriend, you know. Right. Um, you're gonna start appearing problems, mm -hmm. um, which you don't really need in your life. I mean, we have so much going on for ourselves. Um, for our families as well. So right. those but things, they just, they just yeah. there to distract. <laughs> they just there to distract you. Yeah. To distract the distraction. You know, yeah. <laughs> they just there. <laughs> they're, 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 it's, it's, it's just it's, moving around. Yeah, you don't mind the, the <laughs> ass shake sometimes. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's part of life. You know, it, it's huh? part of life, man. If you can do that, do it, man. Yeah. As long as you're good for it. We cool. We we have our own things going on. Yeah. So you can do whatever. Focus it is. on what matters. <laughs> you know? The rest yeah. is just okay. Let's have fun. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and uh, what is the plan for the future? Because mm -hmm. Jesus Christ, this this. Mm, oh. Oh. It's gonna be hard. I, no, it's cool. I have your back, it, so I'm gonna keep. <laughs> <laughs> what is what is the future now? Like I can say, we like we we nominated. Oh, yes, for, I want to for talk the about, BETs. Yes, the BETs, yeah, the DSTV so Viewers Choice Award. You know, the Afrimas. Um, yes. we, we went to Nigeria for the Sun Seas, we got an award. We went to Namibia, we got an award. Um, yeah, there's so many nominations. We had Song of the Year at the Summer yeah. Awards in South Africa. Um, yeah, there's just so much good coming our way because of the album, you know. Yeah. So for the future, man, I think we're going to keep making good music. 
um, the cleanest sound ever, um, aiming at looking um, at more awards as well. Take them right. to the stars, man. Taking it to the stars, man. Nice. Yeah, all and over you the can country. clearly tell that the Destruction Boys believe in themselves, which is a great thing. I, I believe that Confidence. when you are so confident in whatever you're doing, no matter what people say, mm. you're going to push and it's going to work. Do you guys work with any other producers? Um, yeah, we work with a lot of guys. Yeah. I mean, even in our last project, Come in the Future, we worked with Root Boys, um, we worked with the DJ Tiras, we worked with Cruel Boys, Boys Prince Bulldog, mm -hmm. all those other guys. I mean, we, we work with guys that understand the sound as well so that we can keep it as pure as possible because mm -hmm. once you start deleting it at an early stage, then it becomes a problem. Right. But I think the only time that we're actually going to work with a lot of other African artists and artists from around the world is in our upcoming projects. Okay. Our EP called it as All the Dream because we have guys um, from Nigeria, we have guys from all Can over you the place. You know, uh, it's coming, <laughs> it's coming. <laughs> so, uh, this is the project that everyone should look out for. It's coming pretty nice. soon. Can you drop dates as well? Um, not, not, yet. not yet. I mean, once we have everything finalized, you'll be the first to know. Nice. But, but, it's, but it's not that uh, we're working with like close producers. Yeah. Like, we're working with everyone. Even yeah. if you're from Kenya, you're a producer, Every, you, know. you want to work with us, you can hit, hit us up. Oh, nice. Yeah. And uh, what influences your music? Other artists? For example, I mean, I grew up yeah. listening to Yvonne Chaka Chaka, yeah. Brenda Fassi, you know? And yeah. then now here you guys are. I'm sure it had yeah. some kind of influence to your music. Yeah. Yeah. We listen to a lot of Big Nas growing up, you know? You yeah. Oh, and you guys now sharing stage with you Big Nas. Yeah. You understand. You yeah. understand. Crazy. It's, it's, it really is, man. Your DJ theaters as well. Um, we listen to a lot of African music as well. Um, but we, when we pictured our sound, we pictured it for the world, not just for South Africans or Africans, but for the whole world, you understand? So nice. that's why now we also work with guys like Diplo um, and guys like that, because we want, to, we want the sound to be for everybody. Right, yeah. right. Great, Great having them today. today. I'm so, so excited, excited for the Kikoi culture. culture. So, so for anyone who's coming, by the way, get your tickets on www.ticketsasa.com. Uh, what can they expect from the Destruction Boys? Uh, for now, we... Like we're working on an EP. Okay. Uh, the EP it's called like it was all a dream. So on the EP we featured like DJ Tira, Dagan mm -hmm. Trinity, um, Olamide, and nice. Mr. Easy. We got um, Beast in there as well. Beast in there. No. So yeah, I can say maybe next month. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and we have we actually have something for you. Yeah. You know, just to say thank you to everyone that's watching. And for you for being such a great interviewer. Thank you so much. <laughs> Shout out to you, man. Thank you, thank you. get your odds so and this, in the future, man. So by the time I'm done <laughs> listening to this album, I need to know how to say this. So you I'll probably <laughs> probably hit you guys in the DM like, okay, mm -hmm. you need to keep uh, you reminding this. <laughs> I'll take the... <laughs> anyway, we have this um, amazing album from the Destruction Boys. So make sure to um, listen to Hits Not Homework every single Monday to Thursday. And we are going to be playing some of the jams from um, the album. Other than that, make sure to get your ticket on www.ticketsasa.com and have a great time. And of course, by the end of the interview, I promised you that we have to learn a dance. And um, this might not be my forte, <laughs> but I mean, why not? <laughs> hey, you gotta go in your group, but you gotta go in your group. You gotta hurt yourself if you're not in the group. Yeah. Uh, hey. Oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, let's keep doing it. I might get it. Oh. Oh. Okay, so this is where let's my, 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 my gym work has For sure. You don't eat much. It's cool. Okay, let's go. You're getting it, you're getting it. Maybe you're going to get it so it's more. Perfect. 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 Perfect.